as the sun rises, another day begins here in Planet Zoo. Today, we follow the story of the giant panda. Giant pandas live in the thick bamboo forests found in the mountains of central China. We find ourselves following a very sleepy pair of giant panda. It seems that they're not quite ready to get their day started. Here we have Bebe, a 10 year old giant panda. Male giant pandas can weigh up to 300 pounds. And here we have Chi Chi, an eight year old female giant panda. Isn't she adorable? Ah, it would seem Bebe is ready to start the day. As is Chi Chi. Chi Chi and Bebe are a breeding pair. Is it possible we're about to see breeding behavior here before us? Ah, Bebe sniffs Chi Chi to see if she's prepared to breed. Yes, it's time for synchronized dancing. <gasps> the dance ended so shortly. I'm not quite sure if Chi Chi took to that breeding. I just received confirmation that Chi Chi is in fact bred and is expecting offspring. Bebe is going to be a great father. In about three to five months, Chi Chi will give birth to her first child. Giant pandas can give birth to one or two cubs, with usually only the strongest surviving. But here, in managed care, both cubs will be able to thrive if she has two. Giant panda breeding season only lasts for a few months a year, and the females are only breedable for two to three days per year during breeding season. Therefore, it is pretty rare to have a panda birth. However, nowadays, researchers have done great work and are much more successful at breeding giant pandas in managed care. Ah, yes, giant panda poo. Giant pandas can poo up to 80 pounds per day. Another interesting fact about giant panda poo is it points in the direction that the panda was last traveling. This can help researchers find them easier in the wild and track them. Isn't panda poo simply fascinating? It looks like it's time for Chi Chi's early morning booty scratches. Ah, much better. Giant pandas are actually fairly solitary animals, but here at Planet Zoo, Chi Chi and Bebe get along great together and don't mind each other's company. It would appear that Chi Chi's ready for breakfast, but Bebe is not quite ready yet. Chi Chi has shown her courtesy to invite Bebe for breakfast, but leaves without him. Bebe appears a bit upset, thinking that he's missed breakfast. Rest assured, Bebe. There'll be plenty of bamboo for you as well. It would appear that it's time for another nap. Giant pandas have very low energy and often take naps throughout the day. This is mainly due to the fact that 99% of their diet is made up of bamboo, which has very low nutritional value. Ah, here comes Stuart with some fresh bamboo for Chi Chi. Well hey, done, Stuart. Time. Here comes Bebe, ready for breakfast Good with his love. Bebe is extremely smart. A well-fed panda is a happy panda. Pandas can spend up to 14 hours per day eating. They can also eat up to 40 pounds of bamboo per day.
Pandas actually have six toes on their front paws. Thanks to a special bone in their wrists, they have an opposable thumb that helps them handle the bamboo. What a great adaptation. Extremely useful. Ah, Chi Chi in the back relieving herself. What did I say? If they're not eating, they're pooping or taking a nap. Chi Chi has just given birth to her first cub. His name is Tien. Fear not, Chi Chi will be a great mother. But it's time for a nap. She has her priorities straight. Baby pandas are actually born pink and naked. And they're also blind and toothless. We've skipped the awkward stage of life and went straight to the cute stage. What's this? It appears that Tien has developed a strange rare condition called fluffitosis. It increases his cuteness by five times. Rest assured, this will have no negative impacts for Tien. It may actually help him find a mate later in life. Look how cute he is. <gasps> Don't suck him up, Stuart. Look at that adorable face. Yes, Chi Chi would like to nap, but Tien would rather play. Baby pandas are rather playful creatures. While Chi Chi and Bei Bei nap, Tien can't help himself. But enjoy a bit of playtime. Tien does not understand the meaning of nap time. Giant panda females will usually only give birth to one or two cubs every two years. So for the next few years, Chi Chi here will focus on raising baby Tien. Ah, uh, time for another poo. Personally, I wouldn't sit in my own poo, but Chi Chi doesn't mind. It appears Chi Chi is going up for her midday climb. Giant pandas are excellent climbers. It's important for baby pandas to learn to climb at a young age. It's one of the best ways for them to avoid a predator. Here, our giant pandas just enjoy climbing for the beautiful views. Chi Chi appreciates the scenic view. Isn't that breathtaking? Giant pandas are excellent swimmers. Bao Bao here enjoys the water. You just can't keep him out of it. Like father, like son. It would appear Tien is also going for a swim. Shake it off, little Tien. That's a lot of fur to dry off. Father and son enjoying some bamboo. There's no greater way for them to bond. That's one hungry baby. Ah, uh, what a lovely family shot. Just three happy pandas doing what they do best. Enjoying a nice nap. As little Tien spends one more time fused with his father, he is nearing becoming an adult. Any moment now, Tien will develop into a full-grown, mature panda and be off on his own adventure to create his own family in another facility. Perhaps Tien wasn't meant to become a mature, full-grown panda. Could it be that the fluffitosis is stopping him from developing into a full-grown panda? Has prior research been wrong? Is it possible that here we have the first panda cub destined to be a panda cub for its entire life. Here in Planet Zoo, giant pandas will reach sexual maturity at six years of age. Cue Hakuna Matata as we check in on Tien as an adult. I've just been notified that we cannot play Hakuna Matata. Something about getting sued. So instead, we'll use our own Hollywood magic here 
and watch Tien as he turns into a young adult male. Eventually. Ah, little Tien, now a full-grown panda. And would you look at that? The fluffitosis has been cured. The time has come for Tien to say farewell to his mother and father as he reflects back on the great time he's had here. Little Tien is off to make babies of his own right after one final nap. Tien is all ready for transport, off to make his own family and start his new adventure. As the sun sets here in Planet Zoo, we thank you for joining us on this beautiful tale and hope to see you again in the future.